Hi everybody, in this video we're looking at the process of ultrafiltration, which is the first process of urine formation taking place in the nephrons of the kidney. So this process takes place in this part here. Uh, so we've got a, an arteriole coming in and then capillaries forming the glomerulus and then moving back out again. And then this is the Bowman's capsule, which is the first part of our nephron. So filtrate is formed here. And then the filtrate will move down through the nephron, firstly through the proximal convoluted tubule, then down and back up the loop of Henle, moving through the distal convoluted tubule, and then the filtrate finally will move down through the collecting duct. And then by the time it gets to the end here, the filtrate is urine. So we're just looking at ultrafiltration, which is what's happening up here. Okay, so what is ultrafiltration? So if we um, look here at the arteriole coming in, so we've got substances like water, salts, urea, and those substances, some of those substances need to be removed by the body. So urea is toxic, the body needs to remove all of that. So all of the urea needs to end up in the urine. And then depending on uh, the composition of the blood and what's going on, the body will need to lose some of the water and some of the salt, the amount of that depends on what's going on. Um, other things as well like amino acids. So these substances are coming in um, through, the, through the blood and they come in and they move through the glomerulus. So the glomerulus is actually a knot of capillaries so we've just simplified it here into just a loop but actually this is a whole network of capillaries next to the Bowman's capsule. The arteriole that comes in the afferent arterial, you'll see, is, uh, is quite wide. And if we compare it to the efferent arterial, which is much narrower, the difference between the width of the afferent and the efferent arterial is what increases the blood pressure of the capillaries inside the glomerulus. And that helps with this next stage of ultrafiltration. Okay, so this uh, glomerulus, this network of capillaries is nestled inside the Bowman's capsule. So this Bowman's capsule, which you can see here, is where substances such as urea, our water and our salt, they move across from the capillary and they move into the Bowman's capsule. Once the substances are in here, this fluid that we have is known as filtrate. So that filtrate will then continue on down through the rest of the nephron. So if we're asking what is ultrafiltration, it's this process of moving these substances from the blood into the Bowman's capsule. Okay, so we need to look now at how ultrafiltration occurs. So if we redraw um, our diagram, so here we have our glomerulus and we have our Bowman's capsule. Uh, but this time we're going to put a little bit more detail in. So we're going to draw here the lining of the capillary. So this is the wall of the capillary where we find all the capillary epithelial cells on both sides. And then what we have in between the capillary and the Bowman's capsule, we have this uh, layer and this layer is called the basement membrane. Uh, the basement membrane is made of a combination of collagen and glycoproteins. And then we have the lining of the Bowman's capsule. This is quite special, so I'm just removing that layer there because actually, as you can see, that inner lining of the Bowman's capsule is quite special. The cells that line it are specialised cells. And those specialised cells are called podocytes. So you only find those on this inner lining. This inner lining here, this is where the podocytes are. This outer lining of the Bowman's capsule um, is just regular epithelial cells. So these podocytes are specialised. Um, and basically what they sort of do is wrap around where the capillary is. And what you end up with, therefore are lots of gaps 
where um, it's easier for substances to move across. So let's have a look at that again in a bit more detail. So this is the area we're going to enlarge. Okay, so here we have the capillary epithelium. And what you can see is that the, uh, the, the, the lining of the capillary, the epithelial cells, there are gaps, there are pores between them. And the epithelial cells of the, um, the glomerulus have much uh, far more gaps, far more holes than you would normally get in capillaries. So that's one adaptation. So these capillary endothelial cells have got far more gaps between them than you would normally find. So this is obviously where the blood is. And then we have our basement membrane. And then here we can see our inner layer of our Bowman's capsule. So these are the podocytes. And they have these what we call finger-like projections. And the outer layer of the Bowman's capsule are just regular epithelial cells. So substances move across from the blood and the capillary across the basement membrane well, firstly, sorry, through the uh, wall of the capillary, across the basement membrane, and then through the podocyte cells into the filtrate. So having these podocytes uh, makes it easier for substances to be filtered. So when substances have moved across into the, uh, the Bowman's capsule here, into the lumen of the Bowman's capsule, we've now got our filtrate here. All right, let's just uh, remove those bits so it's easier to see. So although we want it to be easy for substances to move across, we don't want everything to move across. So the, we've got lots of gaps here in the epithelium of the capillary. We've got our podocytes, which makes it easier for substances to move across. But we still don't want substances like plasma proteins and red blood cells, those big substances, to move across. Um, and they're not able to get across, and that's partly because of the basement membrane. So the basement membrane here acts as a layer which makes it more difficult for the uh, substances to get through. So it's, it, this is what's really acting like the filter. So the basement membrane is stopping those large molecules from getting through. What this means is that our filtrate, the composition of the filtrate, is identical to the blood plasma, except that there are no proteins in our filtrate. But otherwise it would be the same. So the in terms of what's happening with ultrafiltration, this basement membrane acting like a filter means that only small substances are able to go through. If they're small, they get through. If they're big, they don't get through. And that is ultrafiltration. Okay, thank you.